Good morning, everybody. How are you? Happy Thursday. I uh, wanted to come on this morning. Well, my name, firstly, my name is Paula, uh, Paula Fox. I'm a mindset coach at LVU. And I wanted to come on this morning and talk to you about the event that we did last week called Experience a Moment. And so Angie Tomlinson spoke at the event. It was incredible. And for me, you know, experience in the moment is a big deal because I don't know if you're like this, but for many, many years, I spent my time thinking about what happened that day, thinking about what happened yesterday. And then I would go over that over and over and over. And, you know, what did I do? What, what where did I not do things right? So being honest, I did give myself a pretty hard time. Not all the time, but sometimes I did. And even my sleep and everything was affected by that. The other thing that I did was I was in the future, but not in the way that I'm in the future now. I was in the future worrying about things, worrying about events, work events, whatever it was, traveling, whatever I was doing, I worried about it. And so I spent my time, you know, thinking about what could go wrong. So that meant that I was not in the moment. I was not able to love and experience the moment. I wasn't present. And that is really, really important that you are present. Took me a wee while, not a terrible long time, but a wee while to learn how to actually be present. And so people will say, oh, I meditate, I journal, I do this, great. But the thing is, what happens when you finish the journal and the meditation and the yoga? Are you in the moment? I'm going to be honest. I did all those things. I went to yoga. I meditated. I journaled. I watched the videos. And I was in the moment for short periods of time. But my head was thinking about the past or thinking about the future. And this affected me in lots of ways. You know, I wasn't clear on what I wanted and so as I have become clear on what I've wanted, I'm able to focus on one thing and stay present and focus on the thing that I'm doing in that moment. Being present is so important for your health as well. Like I'm a former health coach. And so being present reduces your stress levels and helps you to be more centered, more balanced, more able to look at what has gone on and to maybe shift your perception at times. And so, you know, when I was living in the past or worrying about the future, I reacted to things. And I was really thinking about that this morning, you know, um, during my walk, I was thinking about, wow, you know, I noticed there are people who react a lot when they drive to other drivers. And so I did the same, like all the things that I notice about other people, I have those paradigms too. They are in me. And so I'm aware of that. And I'm aware of how much I reacted. I reacted to the phone rang, I listened to the phone. If, you know, a driver caught me up, I'd react to that. And so, you know, just staying more centered and balanced and being present in yourself is really important. We can do all the things, all the meditation and, and that, but it's being present all the time. Now, the other thing that I want to talk to you about, and I encourage you to click the link in this post, go in and watch the replay of that event. Like, honestly, the aha moments and the feedback that we have got from that event are incredible. It's totally complimentary. Go watch it. Seriously, it was amazing. You know, I'd love to hear your your thoughts and your feedback. But being in the future now for me is totally, totally different because I'm clear on what I want, clear on my goal, clear on my focus. Um, and so when I go into the future, I am quantum phasing into my life so I can collapse time frames and bring what I want into my life quicker using some of the techniques that are available to all of us when we have an understanding of how our mind works, how our equipment works. It's called the science of the mind and there is science around it. And so when I do that, that's calm, beautiful. There's no problems in my future world. It's beautiful. It's calm. 
it's amazing. And so when I spend time there, I feel really good. And so all these things are available to all of us, not me. I'm not special. Um, and so I would love you to watch the replay. I hope you have an amazing day, everybody. Take care.